Nation, how's it going? I'm Jared Goodman. Today I'm being joined by head women's volleyball coach Alicia Cleaver. Coach, thank you for taking the time today to talk everything William Penn women's volleyball. Yes, thanks for having me. Um, okay, first off, let's just get into last year a little bit. Uh, recap last year, you know, 1915 overall, a big um, improvement from the previous year. Um, just kind of touch on last year a little bit. Yeah, um, I thought we made some great strides forward um, last year. Definitely have some uh, room for growth again, but I thought the girls worked incredibly hard. It was definitely a transition, having so many returners and having to learn a whole different style of offense and defense. And so um, I thought the girls really took well to that, and um, I thought we did a pretty good job overall in the year. Definitely have a lot of room for growth, and so that's exciting moving forward now to know what we have to do moving forward. So you talk about growth a little bit. Um, talk about personally for you now. This is your second season at the helm of this program now. First full year of recruiting. Talk about that a little bit. Yeah, um, that's been awesome. It's been big. Uh, we have a big freshman class and a big transfer class. And I definitely see um, a couple players from each really stepping up and being big for us. And so it's been nice to be able to have girls recruited for a whole year. And I think a lot of those um, juniors we were talking about my first year, um, as juniors in high school, we were able to get on them early and get them committed early, and so it's nice that you know we get to have them now for our first, first true freshman class where we were able to recruit an entire year um, and see kids play. Yeah, you talked a little bit about recruiting, um, but what were you trying to improve on in with this recruiting class um, to help kind of take that next take that next step? Yeah, so we definitely wanted a good mix of freshmen who are varsity ready and then transfers who are varsity ready as well. Um, and so, you know, freshmen, we wanted to hit, you know, every single position with a player who could really be something strong for us. And, you know, same for transfers, because we lost a lot of girls to graduation. And so we had a lot of shoes to fill. Um, and so we really had to recruit every position pretty hard moving forward so that we could still compete at a high level. Um, um, so, Obviously, you know, in the re recruiting field, it's, it's not easy to replace a player like Ashley Miller. Yeah. Um, luckily, you have her back on the coaching staff this year. Um, but let's talk about the position, position breakdown. Let's start with Libero. Okay, yeah. So we um, lost a lot with Ashley, but we're excited to have her back. Um, you know, we return um, a senior DS, Casey. Um, she's coming back for us, and she's definitely um, going to be fighting for that role. We have um, a couple transfers as well who are definitely capable, and even a freshman who's capable. So I think right now, um, you know, they have a lot to prove individually and, you know, working on service team and reading the defense. And so um, it's going to kind of be whoever kind of separates themselves from the pack. Um, but the exciting part is having so many strong DSs that we are really struggling with who's going to be that position because we have, are so deep in that position right now. Yeah, depth up is a very important thing. Talk about the depth a little bit. Yeah, so we have um, quite a few DSs and liberos who are capable of, you know, playing our defense. And so, you know, with Libero and with the DSs, we have, you know, five or six girls who could play, you know, day in, day out. And then we have a couple kids that can go all the way around and, you know, handle our defense and serve just fine. So trying to figure out who's going to be where um, is definitely something right now we're trying to look at. Now let's move up to the offensive side real quick. Let's talk about the, the outside hitters. You know, we have yep. a couple returning. Um, what are you looking out of that? What are we looking for out of them? Yeah. Um, our outside spot is definitely up in the air as well, which is kind of exciting. Um, we recruited an outside transfer from Iowa Central, uh, an outside transfer from Southwestern, where I was previously at. Um, and then we, you know, return Nez and Corinne, both capable of being on that pin. Um, so we have a lot of different options for the outside spot. Um, so I'm excited to kind of see who steps up and who performs. And, and um, you know, depending on the night, we might be able to try different rotations and different options. So I like the versatility of the girls we brought in and what they're capable of doing. All right, what about the middle? Um, the, middle the middle's, the middle's uh, definitely something else we're kind of looking at. You know, we brought in a freshman who's definitely capable, you know, but we returned Danielle, we returned Corinne, um, Kiki returns in the middle. So we have a lot of options in the middle, um, just trying to figure out, you know, who fits well with, you know, this, your, the other pins and who fits well with the setters. and. And so just kind of figuring out who really um, separates himself again. Um, but blocking's big too, you know, who's able to close the blocks and, and do what they have to do it do night in and night out. All right, now moving to the setter position. This is another position that we had a couple seniors last year that graduated. Um, obviously might be somebody new in that position. Let's talk about that. Yeah, um, we definitely brought in a couple transfers and freshmen as well for that position. Um, and so again, it's who separates himself and who clicks, you know, who's able to run our offense. I think this year um, will be the first time we're able to look at a 5-1 instead of a 6-2. 
um, you know, which setters are able to, you know, block well and not get used to the net. So um, height-wise, we have pretty tall setters, which is something that we're not used to, um, and they can defend well. So we're really trying to figure out who really separates themselves um, from the rest and who steps up. And, you know, this weekend being our first games, that will be a time for us to kind of figure that out. Uh, well, it sounds like you have a pretty deep team, versatile team, a lot of girls that can do a lot of different things on the court, which is always a great thing. Yeah. Um, looking forward now, obviously, you guys open up this Friday yep. um, at the KCAC Fall Fling against Sterling. Talk about uh, your non-conference schedule real quick. Yeah, um, we definitely have a tough non-conference schedule, um, a handful of top 25 teams, but in terms of our conference and being in the heart, it's tough night in and night out, and so we have to make sure that you know our non-conference schedule is preparing us for those types of games. And so making sure we're playing, you know, tough teams or historically tough teams is something that we really wanted to make sure we were setting up for this fall because we want to make sure that we are, you know, using those games to prepare for the Central Methodists, the Benedictines, the Bakers, the Grandviews. We want to make sure that we are preparing for them every single night. And you got a tough, tough tournament, um, the Grandview tournament. Obviously there's a lot of good teams in that. Talk about that tournament real quick, real quick and what it means to be a part of a tournament like that. Yeah, um, it's definitely an honor to be able to be there at that tournament. Um, it's definitely a tough tournament, and we're going to have our hands full there. Um, but I think that's you know a good step in the right direction for us and where we're headed. Um, and it's good for the girls to see that exposure and get that experience with such top players and top teams. Um, so again, great competition, and it's going to be good for us to face that type of competition if we want to continue to elevate our play. Right on. And so. Moving on to the conference schedule now, obviously you mentioned all those teams, you know, the Grandview, Central Methodist, Benedictines, Bakers. Um, obviously this is one of the toughest conferences in the entire nation when it comes to volleyball. Um, talk about the conference schedule real quick and how you see things stacking up. Yeah, um, you know, our conference top, conference schedule is so tough um, and making sure that we are prepared for those for those matches is going to be really big for us. Um, you know, there's a lot of Friday, Saturday matches. So making sure, you know, all week long we're preparing not only for Friday night, but also for Saturday. Um, again, for Tuesday nights when we're, you know, playing the North teams, um, it's definitely a tough schedule. And so making sure that we um, are preparing for them and the girls are preparing for that is going to be big for us. Um, but, you know, I think with so many new players and it's getting them to understand how tough it is. You know, there is no night where you can take off. It's going to be tough every single night. And, you know, a handful of girls aren't you know, prepared for that, and so that's kind of our job to make sure we're getting them prepared for that because there are a ton of five set matches, and we have to make sure that we are conditioned for that and we can handle that moving forward. Um, so overall, um, the preseason rankings came out just uh, a week or so ago. Um, you guys were picked ninth in the heart. Obviously, I'm sure the goal is to finish a lot higher than that. Yep. What is your <laughs> overall goal for this season, and how do you accomplish that goal? Um, you know, definitely want to be towards the top of the pack this year, um, but I think. Um, placing us ninth is um, good for us, good motivation for us because we have to earn that top, you know, towards the top. And, you know, definitely last year that sh we didn't showcase the ability to be towards the top. And so moving forward, that's something we have to do. We have to, you know, earn our movement up every single night. And so moving forward, we have to make sure that we are showcasing our abilities night in, night out and being consistent. And so that's definitely something we need to do to earn our spot up each week. Awesome. Well, the guys, there you have it. Thank you, Coach, for coming and talking to Thank us. Um, good luck this season, and um, looking forward to a great season. It's going to be a great season. Um, until next time, you guys, have a good one. Go Statesman. Yay.